Welcome to my video, Clyde Tombow Discovers the Planet Pluto. Clyde William Tombow, born in Straton, Illinois, on February 4th, 2016. Uh, he grew up on a family farm. Uh, they weren't very wealthy and he wasn't able to go to college, uh, not, any, not right away anyway. In 1922, the family moved to Kansas to continue their farming operation. And as a young man, he was really interested in astronomy, so he started building his own telescopes. And there you see a picture of his 8-inch Newtonian he built out of just scrap pieces uh, around the farm. The base is made out of a cream separator. The axle there is part of a Buick transmission. And uh, the tube is probably out of a grain silo, and he grounded his own mirror. So he was really serious, and he started taking... Uh, drawing pictures of the planets and he started corresponding with the director of the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona, just to kind of find somebody to talk to about astronomy. So Lowell realizes, not Lowell, but actually that Schiffer was the director of the observatory at that time. Lowell, had, first of all, Lowell had already died. He was the guy that set up the observatory looking for, uh, searching for Mars and then Planet X. And so they were continuing his uh, search for this unknown planet. So they wanted to hire this farm boy out of Kansas because he'd work cheap and uh, he could just do this. It basically was a grunt job at that time. He had a 13 inch photographic telescope there. You see the picture of it. You can still see it at the Lowell Observatory today. And night after night, he would go out and take pictures of the sky and then compare it a day or two later for the same image and see what had moved. So this is his telescope that he used to uh, conduct the photographic search of the sky. They kind of knew where to look in the sky because they had calculations based on perturbations of the orbits of Neptune and Uranus that told them kind of where to look. So it was a random search. So eventually in 1930, after about 10 months of looking at age 24, Tombow uh, discovers this little dot in the sky. You can see there in the upper picture, those two arrows point to the planet as it moved in just a few nights, so it was not a not a big thing to look for. He used what was called a blink comparator, that's in the lower picture there, and it takes two images and compares them. They blink against each other, and whatever moves, whatever is changed in the two photographs appears to move, whereas everything else remains the same. So that's the way he could look at dozens of photographs quickly and determine what had moved. Now they had this contest once he discovered the planet to figure out a name for it, and they, uh, they ran all over the place, and there's an 11-year-old schoolgirl that eventually came up with the name, and they liked the name Pluto because it was a, fit in with the name of a Greek god, and that's what they named the planets after, and PL was the initials of Percival Lowell, who founded the observatory, so that's the name Pluto stuck. Now, Tombow was still interested in astronomy, so he did get a scholarship to the University of Kansas uh, based on his discovery of Pluto, and he got a BS and MS degree. Now, during World War II, he was put to work like a lot of science and technical people were during World War II to support the war effort. And there he worked at New Mexico's White Sands Proving Grounds. And also there he became interested in UFOs. Uh, he spent so much time observing the sky that there was things that he didn't recognize and uh, he actually gave some government reports on that, so he's quite interested in unidentified flying objects also. Now, uh, Tombo eventually ended up becoming a uh, professor at New Mexico State University until he retired. He was there for nearly 20 years. And then in 1906, uh, they downgraded Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet. And here you see uh, the Earth in the bottom there and all the different dwarf planets that are of any size. And we see in the middle top, we see Pluto with its main, or the largest moon, Charon, and then all the smaller moons that circle uh, Pluto. And so Tombo dies in 1997 at age 90 in his home in La Cruces, New Mexico. And I have a couple, if you want to learn more about Clyde Tombo, I've got a, a couple of links in the description of this video. One goes to an article that I've written on Tombo and discovery of Pluto, and the other is a good reference book on the subject. So if you want to learn more about it, this is just a short video. But I did want to thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.